Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV. Today we got a 2014 Silverado 1500 on a six inch Pro Comp and some badass 22s with some 35. Let's go. Hey guys, like I said, we got this 14 Silverado 1500. This one's got the six inch Pro Comp lift. And if you come check it out, he went with a 22, which is, a, you know, I love that because you get that little bit shorter sidewall, but you still have plenty of sidewall. But he's got the 22 by 11. So when you go with the 22s, rather than going with the traditional 12 wide, a lot of the 22 inch wheels will run an 11 wide. But this one comes in two offsets. So you can get the negative 24, which would shorten up the lip and suck it in a little bit. Or you can go with the negative 44, which is what he did, so that he can bring it out and still have pretty good sized lip on 11 inch wide wheel. So if you look at the build test, you're looking probably, that's at least five inches of lip on an 11 wide. So it still gives you that same lip look on the wheel, but it's not a 12 wide sticking out. So if you look down the side, Junior, because it's a rough con or a pro comp lift, they, on the Silverados, they still push out the fronts. So he also added spacers to the rear which is gonna line that up. So he's got two inch spacers in the back there to line up the front and back tracks. And I would say he's sticking out all of four inches. So it's a real cool setup. Like I said, I love the 22s. Um, I know 20 by 12s are still the hottest thing, but I love a good 22 by 12, 22 by 11. He's running the 35, 12 and a half uh, open countries. So with an open country at 12 and a half, they run true to size, so they're good and wide. On an 11 inch wheel, you still get some sidewall protection. So if he bounces this off a rock or takes it down you know, a side road, he's not gonna tear up his wheel right away. He's got enough side protection on the tire that it's actually gonna protect that wheel. Um, one of my favorite things on this truck, this is a bumper I've never seen before. This is a I, ICI uh, Magnum. And what it is, it's a very, very, very stealthy looking uh, bumper. You can see that it kept the upper bumper shroud on there. And then it just led, it, it hugs basically every line all the way around. You can see it's got a really tight fitment. And then it's got the cutouts. He actually had an extra set of cutouts. It comes out with one set for the four inch pods, but then he added another set. And then it also has a spot to mount a 20 inch light bar. And then it's got the cutouts for the cooling so that can head in there. And if you look, it's got some cool styling cutouts in the front bumper too, but it just, it runs so true to the truck. And then with this setup, it also brings up the front so that you don't have any trimming on the front end when you run a setup like this with the 11 wides. Added the tow mirrors. He did the uh, tint to match. So he did about 20% on the front windows to match the factory tint. And you can see with this one, he's really sticking with the black and silver. So he went with a wheel that's got some machining in it, which pulls the silver of the truck right down into the wheels. So really cool, really clean build. Um, I'm not a big bulky bumper guy. So when I saw this one and how stealthy it was, it, I, this is just a really cool bumper. It's, it's one of my favorites that I've seen for the Silverados so that you don't have to go with the whole big uh, road armor bulky look. You can do the aftermarket bumper and still not get all carried away with it looking all bulky. So We'll keep them coming. Keep checking us out. Custom Offsets on YouTube. So it's youtube.com slash custom offsets. Subscribe to us and it'll shoot you an email let you know when the next video is coming out. Peace.